Welcome to this week's video, where we dive into the mysteries of space. Today, we focus on an intriguing celestial visitor that has captivated scientists and the public alike, Oumuamua. This comet-like body was the first ever interstellar object, meaning traveling among the stars, detected within our solar system and has captivated the scientific community since its discovery in 2017. In this video, we'll explore the enigma surrounding this space object, its connection to dark comets, and the unexplained acceleration it experienced. Join us as we embark on this cosmic journey. The serendipitous discovery of Oumuamua by the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in October 2017 marked a milestone in astronomy. With its unusual shape and unexpected trajectory, Oumuamua has puzzled scientists and sparked numerous hypotheses to explain its origin and behavior. Oumuamua, named after the Hawaiian word for scout or messenger, is a cigar-shaped object with an estimated length of up to 800 meters. Its unique characteristics, such as an unusually high aspect ratio, tumbling motion, and reddish hue, have raised intriguing questions about its composition and formation. Furthermore, the object's trajectory indicated that it originated from outside our solar system, making it the first confirmed interstellar object and marked a milestone in our understanding of the universe. Oumuamua's unique features immediately set it apart from typical asteroids or comets. Its elongated shape resembles that of a cigar or a pancake. This unusual form sparked debates about its origin and nature. One of the most puzzling aspects of Oumuamua's journey through our solar system was its unexpected acceleration. As it passed near the Sun, it gained speed instead of decelerating, defying conventional gravitational expectations. The unexplained acceleration observed in Oumuamua's trajectory raised intriguing questions. Several hypotheses were put forward to explain this phenomenon. Let's explore a few of these theories put forth by researchers. One prominent theory suggests that Oumuamua's acceleration was caused by outgassing, a process where gases trapped inside the object are released, generating thrust. This hypothesis was proposed to explain the observed non-gravitational forces acting upon Oumuamua. According to this theory, as the sun's heat warmed the surface of Oumuamua, volatile substances like frozen water vaporized, creating gas jets that propelled the object. This outgassing effect acted like a rocket engine, resulting in its anomalous acceleration. However, this explanation faced challenges due to the absence of a visible comma or tail. Another compelling theory revolves around solar radiation pressure. This force is exerted by the sun's photons on objects in space. While usually minimal, the unique shape and composition of Oumuamua could have amplified its effects. As sunlight interacts with Oumuamua's elongated shape, the resulting pressure could have acted as a gentle but continuous propulsion force. Over time, this force could have contributed to the observed acceleration of the object, propelling it through our solar system. Moving on, some scientists have explored the idea that tidal forces played a role in Oumuamua's acceleration. These forces arise due to the gravitational interactions between celestial bodies. As Oumuamua approached our Sun, it came under the influence of the Sun's immense gravity. The gravitational pull could have stretched the object, causing tidal forces that generated the observed acceleration. However, the exact mechanisms behind this theory are still being explored. Lastly, we must mention the most captivating theory surrounding Oumuamua, alien technology. Some have speculated that the object could be an artificially created spacecraft from an extraterrestrial civilization. Proponents of this theory suggest that Oumuamua's acceleration could be the result of advanced propulsion systems designed by an alien race. In 2018, Harvard professor Avi Loeb promoted in numerous papers arguments to support this theory. He claimed that the acceleration observed in Oumuamua could be attributed to solar winds, but only if Oumuamua was considerably thinner than initially believed by scientists. Given that a natural occurrence of a 1,000-meter-long, 1-millimeter-thin object was deemed improbable, Loeb argued that this indicated artificial origins. 
While this theory is highly speculative, it cannot be entirely dismissed due to the object's mysterious properties. However, this theory faced opposition from Daryl Seligman, an academic scholar and postdoctoral researcher. Seligman, an expert in interstellar objects, began to play around with the idea that Oumuamua actually accelerated by escaping pure hydrogen gas. He initially did not have an explanation as to how this could be until he joined forces with Jennifer Bergner, then an associate professor of chemistry at the University of California. In 2023, Bergner conducted a laboratory study that demonstrated how water ice, subjected to intense cold temperatures and radiation, could capture pockets of hydrogen. These pockets would then be released when the ice warmed up and underwent structural rearrangement. Fascinatingly, water ice is much more abundant in space, as is radiation. The influx of cosmic radiation could potentially serve as the necessary pre-baking process that could explain this phenomenon. After completing this research, Seligman and Bergner wrote a paper arguing that Oumuamua wasn't a regular comet or an asteroid, but fell into a new category altogether. It was a dark comet, one with a comma that was invisible but present. Their findings provided an explanation for Oumuamua's acceleration as well as the lack of dust it produced, as dark comets would not need to release dust, but rather reconfigure their structures and release pockets of invisible gas. Following his own research, Seligman began to wonder, if Oumuamua was in fact a dark comet, could there be more dark comets out there? With the help of Bergner and additional scientists, they began digging through the data of objects already existing in our solar system. And sure enough, they found six that matched their criteria. Six interstellar objects that accelerated when they shouldn't and couldn't be explained by any known mechanism. These objects were small and mimicked the shape of an asteroid. They are all orbiting close enough to Earth to make missions to them extremely possible. In fact, asteroid 1998 KY-26 is already scheduled to be visited by the Japanese Hayabusa 2 probe by 2031. Hayabusa 2 will aim to perform a flyby on 1998 KY-26, which is rotating quickly, once every 10 minutes. This mission will aim to gather knowledge about this small object rich in water, benefiting future human expeditions to Mars. Once Hayabusa 2 reaches its destination, the cause behind 1998 KY-26's peculiar acceleration may become clearer. Currently, it remains uncertain which scientist holds the correct explanation for Oumuamua. If these objects are determined to accelerate through invisible hydrogen outgassing, it would validate Seligman's hypothesis. However, if a small hatch were to open and an alien form were to wave at us before zooming away into the solar system, we might regret not paying more attention to load. Personally, I believe the former scenario is more probable than the latter. But since it's now beyond our reach, we may never truly know the answer. Regardless, the study of these phenomena promises to be captivating and the discovery of additional objects displaying similar acceleration is undeniably intriguing. In the end, it's possible that neither theory will prove to be correct, which is the fascinating nature of science. As we delve deeper into the study of our planet, we continually encounter strange and unexpected phenomena. However, with each new discovery, our theories improve and evolve. It is possible that in the future, we may come across more objects similar to Oumuamua originating from beyond our solar system, providing additional insights and potential explanations. Once 2031 rolls around, it may bring us closer to satisfying our thirst for answers, or perhaps it may only leave us with further questions. Only time will tell. Understanding the origin and evolution of dark comets could provide valuable information about the early stages of planetary formation and the transport of material between stellar systems. Future space missions equipped with advanced instrumentation could help observe and characterize similar interstellar objects, providing more data for comparative analysis. Moreover, advancements in theoretical modeling and simulations can aid in understanding the complex dynamics and forces acting on these enigmatic objects. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey and join us next time as we delve deeper into the wonders of space. 
please make sure to share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe.